All right, here is my electroscope. Um, basically, it's built out of a mason jar, as you can see. Um, up here, for the lid, I removed the metal middle section of the lid and replaced it with a uh, piece of cardboard that I cut out to be that shape. Uh, for my conductor, I used a piece of coaxial cable, the same type of cable that you would plug into your TV for cable TV. Um, I chose that because it comes naturally with a uh, good insulated sheath uh, jacketing. I stripped back all of the jacketing except for this section here in the middle. I removed the outer black layer and just left this middle um, insulator, insulated layer that you find in the cable to act as an insulator in between the wire and the lid here. Then I left the wire up here. I um, coiled it so I would get a greater surface area um, of charged items that I could place against that. Um, down here, as you can see, I curved the wire into a hook and I hooked two uh, leaves of tin foil together on uh, on the hook. So far I've had the greatest success with uh, this comb. Um, I charge it by rubbing it on my 100% polyester pajama pants. Let's see. These sweatpants charge this sucker up pretty good. So it's all like that. Well, let's watch these leaves. You can already see them. I'm not even touching it yet. I'm about an inch away. I touch it, and the sleeves separate pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Good. So, pull it away. They fall back. Anyway, that's what I've had the most success with. I've tested uh, paper. I've tested different kinds of fabric, cotton, polyester, uh... I've done a Ziploc bag, wrapping paper, the comb, all sorts of different things. And this is what I've had the best success with. So there it is. Thanks.